Hey guys, welcome. My name is Dr. Jeremy Thornton, and I just wanted to hop on here quickly and share some information with you uh, about this BioMS technology. So I want to keep this short and sweet. I want to just touch on a couple of things and, uh, and hopefully can uh, convey the, the, the uniqueness of this technology and just how special it is. So many of you are familiar with uh, the curcumin or turmeric conversation. Uh, been in nutritional practice for over 24 years. Uh, we used literally dozens of different versions, different formulas. Uh, and honestly, I've never been just super excited about any of them until now, right? Until this new BioMS technology. I'm gonna share with you why this is completely disrupting the nutritional industry and why we're seeing results uh, with curcumin that we've just never ever seen before. And so I'm gonna share with you my screen and just share a little bit of information about these little powerful drops right here. Um, bear with me, hopefully this will work right and technology will um, cooperate here, right? So, <clears throat> okay, hopefully you can see this here. Um, so if you just briefly search PubMed, uh, you will quickly see that curcumin is the, the most widely studied uh, medicinal plant uh, and also been called the most powerful medicinal plant known to man. So over 20,000 uh, results recently in the literature, right? And you know that the scientific community would not spend this much time, effort, money on a natural substance for sure if it wasn't super special. And indeed, you will agree with me that curcumin is. Um, <clears throat> we know this about curcumin. We know it's got the anti-inflammatory benefits. We know about antioxidant benefits, anti-cancer, neuroprotective. Uh, hepatoprotective, cardiovascular, uh, anti-diabetic benefits, immune supportive, immune regulative benefits as well uh, as many others. And uh, if we just look at the number of inflammatory pathways that are inhibited by curcumin, uh, it's unbelievable. There's nothing else that we know in the natural realm or uh, certainly in uh, the prescriptive realm that can impact inflammation like curcumin can. And also the literature is just abounding in health benefits, right? Um, health conditions, disease processes that curcumin has been proven to impact. And these uh, are just a few of those right here in liver diseases and lung diseases and skin and neurodegenerative, inflammatory diseases, infectious diseases, endocrine disorders, heart disease, skeletal disease, and various cancers. Um, and again, this is not new information. Uh, to many of you, this you probably already uh, have seen the research. Uh, and, and we have decades of research showing that curcumin is powerful uh, and, and that curcumin can impact human health in, in a number of exciting ways, right? But the problem is, you're like, what's the catch? The catch is what I call the hidden secret, right? And that's bioavailability. And this is probably not new to you either. You've probably heard of the limitations of curcumin and turmeric. You know, what they knew long ago that uh, curcumin could do in the lab, right, in cell cultures and such, they, they were often frustrated that we weren't seeing that in human trials, right? And so they've, they've done uh, uh, lots of different things to try to improve this bioavailability. Uh, we know that curcumin and turmeric uh, just aren't well absorbed, right? And this isn't new. Again, you jump through some slides here. Uh, this is just one of many articles you'll be able to find about the problem of curcumin, its bioavailability. And uh, this states that curcumin has been confirmed to exhibit very poor bioavailability with many studies showing low or even undetectable concentrations in the blood and extraintestinal tissues. Major reasons are due to its poor absorption, rapid metabolism, chemical instability, and rapid systemic elimination. So you can see why this has been very frustrating for scientists and researchers trying to get a therapeutic level of curcumin or turmeric in the bloodstream, and many times not being able to even find it in the bloodstream, right? Um, <clears throat> and of course, that's all changed with this BioMS technology. And I wanna share with you why this is completely disrupting the nutritional industry, changing everything we thought we knew about curcumin and turmeric. So this uh, is just a slide that, that visualizes a study that was shared with me uh, over a year ago that showed that this technology, this BioMS technology could increase bioavailability by up to 277 times um, what traditional turmeric or curcumin could. Uh, and honestly, when I first heard that, I didn't believe that, but it got my attention enough because I knew enough about curcumin and turmeric that if that was true, 
this was going to change a lot of lives, and indeed it has. Um, so if we were to just take 10 drops of this, we would, would, would have to take uh, over 17 pounds of, of turmeric root to equal those blood levels. Uh, that's just how powerful this technology is. And let me share with you just a visual. Um, so this is the technology really, uh, I would say it's more like three technologies. We extract the curcumin component, right? Uh, they apply this nanotechnology, shrinking the particle sizes less than 30 nanometers in size. And then there's the micelle technology, right? That wraps those nanoparticles um, in a micelle, which is able to easily carry uh, this, this substance that's generally not uh, they call it lipophilic. It, it dissolves in water, not so easily in the bloodstream, but this micelle is able to carry it easily uh, in the bloodstream and easily in water or fat. Uh, and so this is uh, part of the technology that's making this bioavailability uh, issue a thing of the past. So how small is 30 nanometers? Well, a red blood cell is 7,000 nanometers wide. A uh, human hair is up to 100,000 nanometers thick. Uh, so this is just some visuals about how tiny this nanoparticle size is and, of course, how, uh, how special it is as well. So this is a visual of a study of 2,000 milligrams uh, of curcumin, traditional curcumin, right? And uh, you'll have to look closer, right? Lean in uh, to see the peak here at an hour. And it's easy to see by this display why scientists have been frustrated with, with using traditional curcumin and turmeric and why... Uh, we've known for many years that uh, curcumin is very poorly bioavailable. Um, I often hear the, the um, comment that, well, my, my curcumin or turmeric has black pepper extract, which solves this bioavailability issue. Well, not so fast. Uh, when we apply uh, black pepper extract, we do see a brief spike, as you can see here, uh, and curcumin levels in the bloodstream about 45 minutes in. But look where it is in an hour, okay? Look where we're at by three hours. We're undetectable. Uh, and it's able to do that because black pepper extract slows down phase two liver detoxification, uh, which in my opinion is probably not the best route, especially dealing with a population that uh, is, is often using multiple prescriptive medications, multiple supplements, uh, and, and many are taking this, this black pepper extract curcumin combination uh, or turmeric combination multiple times a day. Uh, and as you can see, that could probably uh, uh, cause trouble, right? It could certainly be problematic. And um, so this is what we're talking about with this technology. Again, trying to keep this super quick, uh, super simple, uh, but hopefully powerful uh, to the viewers that uh, take the time to watch. So we're, we're seeing levels with this, which we've never seen before in the bloodstream. Of course, we saw before, right? What we were seeing, we're typically seeing. Uh, now we're seeing levels like this. Uh, this is men and women, a study. But what I'm more excited about than just the levels we're able to achieve, okay, here's traditional curcumin down here. We can't see it, of course, <laughs> it's so small. Um, we're achieving levels up here, but what's most exciting, and this is a single dose, is we're seeing elevated levels in the bloodstream for four hours, eight hours, 16 hours. Over 24 hours later, we're still detecting measurable levels of curcumin in the bloodstream. That's a single dose, and that has never, ever been seen before, especially in the realm of curcumin and turmeric. Uh, and this is exactly why we are seeing uh, uh, things, we're seeing responses to curcumin and turmeric that, uh, that the literature has said it could do for decades. But we certainly didn't see it in human studies because we could not overcome this bioavailability issue, and now we can. And this is why this BioMS technology is super special. If you have not uh, checked it out and you need to, you need to give this a close look because, again, it's disrupting the whole nutritional industry and is changing lives. And so let me stop the screen share here. And I hope this information was valuable. Certainly reach out if you have any questions. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and take care.